station right there. She's all navigating the cell phone like she's like 10, 12 years old. Oh yeah. You get it? Oh yeah, you pretty much you gotta get it installed at home, but usually yeah, there's a company that uh, has it's in charge of the Wi-Fi. Yes, but we also have two telecommunications providers concerning they have the, the data from the cell phones. Yeah. Lots of money on uh, brakes and gas down here. Uh -huh. Up and down the hill. Very mountainous island. Very, very mountainous. And that is because it's a volcanic island. Yeah. It's not coral like Barbados. You can even get a nice car for ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Maybe second hand that is. Not me. Yeah. Yeah. Second hand, you know, good condition. Get a nice car. But most of the cars you get from the island, on the island, is ordered from that Japan. These are Toyota, these ones. These are the most common ones you can see around. Yeah. You also have some of those luxury cars like Lexus, BMW, Audi. Right. But this would be like business owners, politicians, driving those. the right for the day. Yes. Well, there are plenty of them on the island. Just like bananas, coconut is like all year round. You never face coconut out there. That's why we always have the green jelly coconuts, so we have to try it once. You know, we make coconut cakes, we make coconut candies, we use coconut oil for all our stuff. Yeah. Very, very healthy though, coconut oil. If you recognize so far, a lot of the homes are built on stilts. Yeah. Just so uh, anybody has any idea why that is? Taxation. <laughs> 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 yes, plants is a better yeah. answer. Plants in low lying areas? Yeah, the water comes down off the hills. Well, around there, it wouldn't be such a problem. Like uh, a coastal area, it would be wise to build on stilts. Yeah. Because they know when the waves are coming in, there's rough uh, seas, yeah, that would be a good idea. Some people who live in areas which have snakes, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, to avoid uh -huh. the snakes, you gotta build high. Now, it's, the main reason is like tradition. You build very high, so later you're gonna build at the bottom. So you can, if your kids don't want to go build a house uh, as yet, and they want to build a nice little apartment to the bottom of the house, yes, yeah, that's easy to do. It's already high, so you just build at the bottom. Now, where 
we left your boat, your ship, there was the Caribbean Sea, we're going to be seeing little bits of the Atlantic Ocean. If what you're seeing over there, there's the Atlantic Ocean over there, to the east. bananas a while ago. I didn't mention that banana, great banana, with salted codfish is our national dish. You cook the great bananas the same way you cook the great plant -based. And you gotta boil the salted cod to remove a lot of the salt in there. And then you're gonna saute that with your great seasonings, put it right next to the banana, a slice of avocado in there, and that's it. National dish. That is very good, I can tell you that. the best for last, no There's a little view of the Atlantic right there. Oh. There is the Atlantic. Always very rough though. This is the Atlantic. Can we get a picture for you? Yeah. Those are mangoes. Yeah, there's a mangoes in there. That's a, this one we call the blue mango. Yeah. Okay, in the Creole we say mango blé. Blé means blue. Oh no, they did. <laughs> like, if there's a tree of mangoes right there, and there's a house right there, what I gotta do is just tell the folks, I'm getting some mangoes for my guests, and that's it. They don't charge you. They don't charge anything. <laughs> because most likely they won't be able to take it. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to win. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> bananas right there. See those? Big banana, anything. Just gotta ask. If there's no house, just go ahead. Let's say you can't find anybody. Well, can you pick them anyway? There's nobody in the house, go ahead. <laughs> just don't let the neighbors see you. <laughs> so what do they do for sewage? They have septic tanks. Yes, yeah. yes, septic tanks. Usually at the side of the house, like about six feet deep. Yeah, so most people have those on the side of the houses. Some have them under the houses, different people. There's a chocolate tree right there. Coco? No. The one we export. You see some purple pods in there? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's very kind of very hard to see. There's some yellow ones also. The cocoa pods. They, yeah. They're right in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of
kind of difficult to see here. Right, that's a cocoa wow. tree. Now it starts off this color and then it turns into stripe. Yes, nutmeg, cinnamon, vanilla also, vanilla vine, yeah. But the vanilla vine is like an orchid, so you have to do some kind of fermentation to get your vanilla part here. Yeah. Now, with all that, uh, those fresh fruits and vegetables around, and all those herbs, most people uh, usually ask me, a lot of folks on the island, are they very healthy? That used to be the case before, but now it's different. Because uh, all those fast food restaurants down here now, uh, yep, people leave the good stuff and they go get the bad stuff. So that's why there's an alarming rate of diabetes hypertension on the island. And it's alarming, it's getting out of hand. If you, when we were going through the city, if you, these are public buses. They're stationed in different parts of the city, they take you to different parts of the island. Yes, the further you go, more money you pay. Oh yeah. Because you know, all these people up here can't own cars. And if you see any black tanks next uh, on the side of the houses, water cisterns, this is like uh, people have it as backup, going against a little bit like the dry season and the water. There's water, but it's not so, you know, you don't get yeah, so much of it. Yeah, so you have it as backup, just in case. It gets too dry and you have a little bit of a shortage. usually assign certain public buses to the schools uh -huh. so the kids will get on, go to the city, or stay in the city, wait for the bus and come up to the school. Okay. Yeah. It's easy to get around if you don't have a car. But pretty much the public bus system usually ends around 8, 9. So if you want to do anything or you want to go anywhere after that time, you got to have to get a taxi or you know, a friend with a car or something. It's a, yeah, it's a, I mean, lots of folks have cars now because people, uh, like I just mentioned, the public bus system ends around 9, 8, 9, so lots of people will be coming from Australia with that, so they just get their own cars. So yeah, there's a lot of folks with cars on the island now. So that's why usually when we're going down sometimes or coming up to through the, through the highways, it's a lot of traffic. A lot of traffic. Pardon? Primary? It's very controlled. We hope it stays that way. Yes, because uh, people complain to me a lot about the other islands, like Jamaica and Trinidad, where it's like very out of hand. But down here, people are behaving. You get a little bit of everything, but pretty much the police officers are relaxing in there, having donuts. <laughs> so we hope it stays that way. We really hope. University. 
So if they get a job over wherever they want to study, like United States or England, they would stay. But especially if they have family over there, they would just stay in the family and work, and they would come back to do on vocation. Some of them would go over there and get qualified, and when they come back there, sometimes they overqualify. The island cannot really pay them, especially like doctors. Yeah, they kind of like overqualify, so they won't. The, the, the hospitals out there can't really pay them. So sometimes they're gonna have to go back over there and look for a job. You know? Or some of them is going to have to settle for another job because they can't get paid for their profession. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of that way sometimes. But uh, unemployment, the rate of unemployment is uh, for a small island, 24%. That's pretty high for a small island. Now, Something that helps the unemployment rate a bit, it's very common now, is the crashing jobs. It's a big thing now. It's the crashing jobs. Yes, the cruise lines, yeah. Before it is very hard to get on the cruise line, you know, because there were the agencies down here. But now we have agencies that train you and send you on board. And if you're unemployed, uh, you know, you cannot afford the expenses to get on the cruise ship to work, the banks and the government will come together and give you like a student loan. They will take up all the expenses on all the classes and stuff. And when you go on the ship, you make the money, you just pay it back. Yeah, so they send lots of kids on board the cruise ships every year. Someone asked Lily about breadfruit? Right over there. Oh, oh that's, that's breadfruit. That's breadfruit. I call it a potato. It's similar to a potato. You could do chips, you could make a pie, you could do anything with breadfruit. As you could do with potato. Oh yeah. They get way bigger than that. The size may be close to a basketball. Yeah, so they get pretty big. So you have one, you could feed a fam you could feed a family of like eight people with one. Oh. It's very big, yeah. What is that cost? At the market, based on the size. Oh. They would sell them like five dollars for one, and sometimes they would give you a heap of small ones for ten dollars. Yeah, about three of them in the heap. Yeah, different prices, different size. This was brought into the uh, island in the 17th century by Captain Black. Oh, so, yeah, that's right. We're getting a better view when we go to the place up oh. there. See the north of the island. Oh, an island. Where is it? Actually, when we get to the uh, the garden area, the place where we're stopping, yeah. you're gonna see one of them. It's on the causeway in the north of the island. That's one. It's called Simon's Grand. And there are two other ones. Close to there's one. Well, further, further down. When we're going down, we're gonna see another one. And there's another one in that area on the west coast. Yeah.
hours there and uh, we're going to have approximately 40 minutes at that place. The washing is available. You're going to meet the owner of the place, Mr. Sonny. He's going to tell you about the place. He's going to be directing you as to where you can go to see what. Okay, so you're going to have your free time, 40 minutes. It's your time. Walk around, take photos, sample the refreshments, sample the banana ketchup, take lovely photos, enjoy that time, okay? Now you can leave your heavy bags if you have any heavy bags or bulky stuff. You can leave it in the bus and just hold the light stuff like your water, your camera, and stuff like that. You want to see how you earn a PhD? You're in the first up the hill. This is Stony Hill.